Nanny Faye has started to hustle for cash as her son Todd Chrisley prepares to head to jail. As fans know, Nanny Faye's son has just a few weeks of freedom left before he'll spend the next 12 years behind bars. Likewise, her daughter-in-law Julie is also headed to jail for her nine-year sentence. Between Chloe and Grayson being under 18 and Nanny Faye's health failing her, fans assumed the judge would grant staggering sentences to Todd and Julie. The judge, however, chucked the book at the reality TV couple because they've continued to refuse to admit any guilt for their accused crimes. Sadly, most fans fear that between Nanny Faye's age and her recent cancer diagnosis, she will likely pass away while her son Todd is behind bars. So fans hope Todd is doing what he can to spend as much time as possible with his mother before he spends the next 12 years behind bars. Nanny Faye starts hustling for cash, with Todd Chrisley headed for the slammer, along with Julie, and the reality TV series canceled. Fans wonder what the rest of the family will do for money. Chase and Savannah have healthy social media followings they can tap into. Savannah has her cosmetic business and Chase has his candle business. Likewise, they both have real estate experience. For the time being, Savannah will become financially responsible for Grayson and Chloe. So, the big question fans have is simple. What about Nanny Faye? During the sentencing hearing, Julie Chrisley implied that she provided Nanny Faye with daily assistance and care. Fans question who will step into that role when she heads to jail. For the most part, fans hope Emmy and Chase will step up considering how precious the bond Chase has with his grandmother is. Turns out, Mama Chrisley isn't letting her age or her cancer stop her from earning her own bag. The Chrisley Knows Best star recently reactivated her cameo profile. And she's using it to hustle for some cash so she can support herself as her son Todd heads to prison. According to her profile, Nanny Faye is charging Chrisley, Knows Best Fans $110 for a personal video. She's also charging $875 for a business video. The number of reviews on her profile confirms she's netted over $15,000 before cameo fees are taken out. This is assuming all 150 plus of her reviews were for personal videos and not business videos. While fans love that Nanny Faye has found a way to earn her own bag, fans are sad that Todd Chrisley has put her in this position. Would you purchase a personalized video from Nanny Faye? Let us know down below.